What's good? What's good? What's good? What's really happening? What's your deal with? Welcome to it, man. This is episode two of The Corner, right here on YouTube with your favorite big boy, Big Box, aka Capital B, aka OB, aka whatever you want to call me. Just make sure you spell it right. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody that took their time out in the lives and um, tuned into the video, watched it, shared it, commented, um, gave a few pointers here and there. I really appreciate it and gives me motivation to keep doing this because I know there are some people out in the world that appreciate um, these videos. So yes thank you from my heart to yours so for episode two i'm going to be discussing a few projects that dropped this past week some singles some albums and some videos that caught my attention and i thought i should share them with you so that you can go out in the world and tell people hey did you see this did you see that who and who dropped the videos and everything meanwhile back at the ranch you hear it here on this show man so yeah without any further ado let's get right into it all right, now kicking off episode two is one of my favorite MCs whom I first heard of on Fonte's um, Charity Starts at Home. I think it was in 2010 when it was released. Of course, I'm talking about Big Crit, man. He's an absolutely talented MC. Uh, not very commercially, commercially, com it's Juan, it's Juan. Uh, let's English, uh, it does its own thing sometimes. But why I'm announcing this is because he dropped a brand new album called Forever is a Mighty Long Time. Yeah. Ooh, that was the worst South accent ever, but he does sound like his like very country thing about him. Now, um, yeah, the announcement was the earlier this week, and I listened to it. It's a great album. Sounds like a hip hop church sermon. It's like you walk in there and you know what I mean? It's it's really really crazy. It's nice the how it's how it's are uh, produced. Um, the, the the quality of the production is amazing. The artwork, everything, and um, I was excited when I saw the features that are part of this album. This is the likes of CeeLo Green, um, Robert Glasper, Jill Scott, and Bilal. Beautiful, intelligent, lustful, and living it. If you don't know what Bilal stands for. Got you right there, man. I've been listening to this shit for too damn long. What I've heard so far, my favorite joint is Keep the Devil Off. Hey, ah, I gotta keep the devil off. Gotta keep the devil off. Beautiful album, beautiful song. The way it's crafted, the way it's, 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 you know, it just makes you want to get off your feet and just dance. You know what I mean? It just... Like, just go out there, do your thing, get off your seat and just It makes you feel like it has a lot of energy, makes you want to dance It's a great, great song Oxcord is another one um, that is also fantastic Now, yes, Big Crit, um, Forever is a Mighty Long Time I suggest you go out and get it Legally, of course, I'll drop the iTunes link in the comment section below It is well worth your time all right, now next up, I need to tell you about a super, super single that was released by my girl, BK. Oh man, the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous BK and absolutely talented as well. I got to know about her from her works with Miss Ntabi and um, I saw her on stage a few times singing and I thought, brilliant singer, just powerful, powerful, powerful vocal cords. And the next thing I know, she's dropping 16s on MTV bass and I'm like, you rap? Like, whatever, what are you, whatever. And she was dropping bars, man. She was dropping bars on bars on bars on bars like chocolate. <laughs> she released a brand new single earlier this week called Never Been My Type. It is such a nice song. It's a sexy song. I think, oh, there's a favorite line of mine there where she goes, um, he likes the way I throw it back. It's not like I am not getting responding like a dispatch. I'm like, what? No, I man, it's a nice party song. It's a nice, sexy dance song. You know what I mean? Um, get into it. Brilliant work done. I hope this is leading up to an album because BK has been, you know, slowly, slowly killing it in the music industry, releasing a single there, a feature there, EPs there. Uh, not big project, but just introducing herself slowly, 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 slowly into the scene. And I'm hoping that this is leading to up to a big uh, project. Ooh, hey, chicken egg, chicken egg. I hope this is leading up to a big project um, coming up soon, man. But yeah, from judging from the single that I just heard, Never Been My Type is a great single. I urge everybody to go out there. Get it? BK, Never Been My Type. Am I your type? I hope so. When I'm a skill, I'm not a <laughs> Now, moving along, I need to tell you about a big video that has just dropped this past week, and it's El Tito's More Don the Number Two. Ah! Elisha Batabadi, then you fool now, where nah? Masambe. I love Tito, man. I love what he does, like his composed style. He's not out there trying to be the hardest rapper. He's a cool MC, delivers well, composed, 
um, crafts this album well. And what I love about his work is that he's always managed to consistently release a hit that shakes the country somehow. You know what I mean? Um, he did it with uh, what's this? Hanga Dalaga. He did it with Steve Kekana and Moto is no different. And what I love about this video is just it, it, it took me back to my young days, you know. Everybody's a, like it's a classic uh, hood story where Kopana Lichir you trying to hit on her and then and then you come back 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 and then number number three one of of Roma or Nasha, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful video. I love it. Offense Moss is great at the stuff. He's created a lot of great videos um, that have done well in the industry. So, yes, El Tito's more. Oh, check out the video. I'll drop a link right there below so that you guys can check it out. All right, now, saving the best for last, I need to tell you about a very special album that has been released this past week globally, worldwide, and it is from my favorite vocalist of all time, Gregory Porter. 1960 what? 1960 who? 1960 what? I mean, this man needs no introduction. All of his albums are classic. Every single one of his projects, Water, Be Good, every single one of them. I mean, the dude could sing Happy Birthday <laughs> and it would sound like the best happy birthday you've ever heard in your life. Now, what's special about this album? It's called Nat King Cole and Me. Now, this is Gregory Porter doing covers of Nat King Cole songs. Now, if you are well-versed in music, you must know the name Nat King Cole. Juggernaut. Juggernaut of music in his own right. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. We lost him some years ago. I and his daughter as well, we lost her some years ago. They did that brilliant collab, Unforgettable, which was a part of, uh, you know, my, 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 my growing up and a lot of us as well. Everybody knows that song. It's a beautiful song. That King Cole was amazing. Now, there is no better fitting artist, in my opinion, to do covers of Nat King Cole songs other than Gregory Porter. That's how great this man is and that's that's why I feel he's the best fit to do this because you don't just go and sing Nat King Cole songs if you can't sing if you can't embody um, that kind of spirit and that kind of soul you just don't attempt it because you're a good singer there has to be something special about you to sing Nat King Cole songs because those songs are very special songs like Smile you know um, songs like Unforgettable and everything else that he's, he's probably written some of the best beautifully written songs Ever, 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 ever. Now, Grey Reporter has that something special. And on this album, he was nothing short of amazing. Every single song is well crafted, well played, all the instrumentation, everything is a better. It's it's just a, 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 a great um, tribute to, to Nat and Cole. And I think they did a brilliant job with it. Um, I urge everyone to go out and listen to this album. It will help you in your fields. You can be hard as ever and when you listen to this stuff, you will just melt, man. Um, Grove Reporter never disappoints. Singing that King Cole songs, beautiful as can be expected. I urge you to go out and get it. It's on iTunes and um, all across stores and whatnot. The whole entire world, man. Go out and get it. Go out and listen to it. School yourself on good music. If you haven't listened to Gregory yet, school yourself on good music. Listen to this guy. He is brilliant. And he did that King Cole songs. Blown away. Blown. Just, just yeah. That's how great it is. Nat King Cole, Gregory Porter. Uh, and I can call it me. Fantastic. All right, and that is it. Episode two done and dusted. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, and I urge you to go check out all the projects that I've mentioned throughout the show. They are worth every single minute of your time. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. That's also cool. Um, if you have anything to say, drop your comments in the comments section. <laughs> uh, like it, share it, post it on your on your uh, Facebook profiles, let people know about it. And if you feel that it's worth your time, hit the subscribe button, man. I really appreciate that. Otherwise, that is it for me. Capital B, Obake, OB on the corner. See you on the next one. Do it.